Hey, what's up, YouTube? And Argus here with another Red Alert broadcast. Today we are going to be invading what looks like Germany. Man, really putting my uh, geographical skills to the test here. I'm, I, I'm hopefully glad I paid attention. Now I'm kind of unsure because of how the, the, I don't know. This map is all polygoned out. So let's go in through the south. Good work dealing with that spy. You please, Stalin. Make sure you never disappoint him. I bet you do. Now, I have a special task for you. We are amassing for our attack on Berlin. The Allies are aware of this, so we are going to... How do they say? Throw them a bomb? I want you to create a diversion. Occupy their troops until we can drop soldiers behind their lines. Once the troops are in, Use the soldiers to cut off Allied communications. With no early warning. We can take Berlin by surprise. I was hoping there was going to be more to that cinematic. Alright, so here we go. Let's deploy our mobile construction vehicle. And we are actually way far away from the tech, or the, the ore. That's okay though. All right, so let's take our new unit here. The V. This is the what iteration? This is the V2, I think. Uh, yeah, V2 rocket. In each command and conquer red alert uh, video game, they have like V3, V4. I keep waiting for like the V17. <sighs> All right, this is this is gonna take a little while, but it's perfectly fine. You know why? Because it's Red Alert One. It's such a great game. Oh my god, the reason I parked these back here is because... <gasps> puppies! Whoa, jeez, man, I wish Zerglings did that. Oh, back here, doggies. No, doggies. No, doggies. Don't die. Oh, okay, there we go. Definitely threw the ally as a bone there. <laughs> yeah, you see what she said. So, yeah, this is actually a pretty straightforward mission of just assaulting um, across the lake, if I recall somewhere up here-ish, question mark, and there's a radar station that we destroy. It's eh, not that hard. So we're going to use one of our, oh man, which dog do we send? This is, this is little, little scruffy. We don't want to send him. He's got like a fifth of his life left. This is a hardy animal. We'll send you to scout up to the top. Now, unfortunately, there is no attack command, so I'm not able to do, um, any sort of safeguardings for these dogs' lives. So, unfortunately, the first enemy they meet, will, they will die a horrible doggy death, but that's okay. These dogs will go to Tiberium Heaven or something. I don't know. How did this dog lose, like, 5% health already? What? Ugh. Stupid. I, I blame the AI. Probably just randomly tripped over a chunk of ice and get out of the way, or truck. There we go. Now, I kind of want to build a... I want a spider up here a little bit, so I think that's what I'm going to... I'm going to expand. I'm getting a little low on fun... <gasps> no! Oh, poor little guy. So let's just... Let's just start building up this way. I think this will be a good thing. I would actually use a Tiberium silo, but I really want to get my radar up. I don't like uh, not being able to see what's going on, so... Ooh, there we go. Now, look at that. One of our doggies has made it! Yes! Success! Although, probably won't be for much longer, seeing as how I'm hearing units lost. Oh, well, poor guy. So let's put this right here. Bam! And you know what? Let's actually drop another ore refinery. And doggy, I, I feel like you are, you're okay to come up here now, so let's, let's put you three there. Uh, let's say you're good for now. We, the nice thing about the scouting is even though the dog did die, we're still able to get a little path of vision right here. So that's leaving me in a pretty confident state. Now, up towards the north, there is a civilian village <gasps> with a church. The church must be blown up. We're going to do it. Oh, we can't do, can't do that. Look at that Jeep. Go, Jeepy. You'll make it. Two GPs! Oh no, doggy, don't don't run in there. You should not engage. You don't even have an opposable thumb to open the door. Never mind the fact that it actually has no top. We won't go there. Um So bad idea on doing that. Because now you could see that I don't unfortunately 
quite reach up there. We're just going to drop it anyways. And we're going to use an ore silo. Because it's cheap. And it will let us get going up here. It's just a little bit high. The thing about the spot is that there's so much money. Tons of it. There's tons of it, I say. And we're going to be able to use these ore silos. The nice thing here is we can sell them for a little bit of money. Maybe we'll get lucky and get a technician as well. Now, I'm going to try to move these silos, the spider base, just up from here. I could put the spider base extension right there, but, you know, as you mine, it's going to get, you know, a longer and longer distance very quickly. That's not really going to be helpful. So there we go. Another thing we got to make sure we do is not to get too high on power. So we'll just mark that there, and we'll leave that one there just in case. You never know when some angry, angry hippo or giant ant or dinosaur are going to come along and ruin your day. That's one thing I kind of was uh, kind of was hoping for after I played the ant missions. I was like, you know what? I hope that so Oh, what are you doing, Tank? You don't belong there! No, you're not part of the bridge! Oh, oh my god. Oh. Where, where are you? What? No! Costco is back this way. Oh, god. The, the AI in this is just, just atrocious. I don't know how anybody ever beat this. Let's see, there we go. I, I guess having two for three firing at a location... Not that bad. Oh, so are you gonna have enough? Are you gonna have enough? Please tell me you have enough. Ah, yes, yes we do. All right, so we'll drop that. All right, so now we've we've pretty much gone with like a super heavy eco style here, and that that is not seriously blown up yet. Okay, that's fine. That's cool. We will move down here. And, hey, get out of my get out of my ore field. Get out of my fields of wheat. No. It's funny, when I first saw this when I was a kid, I thought it was a weak field. That's where that came from, even though it probably doesn't look anything like it. But that's okay. Splat. Splat. Aww. He has an IQ of, well, two. Which apparently is way higher than the rest of the team. Ah, get to work! God, you a union or something? Jeez. Uh, do I have a repair bay? The tanks are hurting. Don't like that. They're screaming in pain! You can hear them. Moonlight. That's right, you need moonlight to hear these tanks. Don't ask, I don't know. Alright, little, uh... Little Scruffy, you just guard... You guard right here. You are like... You are the Walmart greeter of our base. You're just going to be hanging out here with a quarter of your life left. Now I feel kind of bad for saying that. I know those guys actually do work really hard. Yeah, we're just going to we're just going to stay away from that one. <sighs> okay, more tanks. More tanks, repair. What we're going to do here is go for this base first. And also, I want to Oh wait, I think if I build an airfield, I get access to a spy plane. Mm. Things that you have to remember while playing old games. Put that there. And <gasps> an enemy tank appears! We will head forth and meet them. And hopefully not destroy... No, get back. No, I don't care what I told you to do. Go there. So, quit attacking. Quiet, 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 quiet. Ah! Oh, great. So you actually you drove him all the way over here only to fire at something else. Good. Good job, Squirt. Squirt. Pal. Yeah, whatever. You just go ahead and get on there. So, you'll notice that we have a lot of money. Now, were we able to get... To oh, yes, we were. Very nice. Okay, let's get us some infantry. As... Wow. Okay. Um, luckiest group of people ever. Just gonna say that. Oh, nope, never mind. There we go. I was like, are they really not gonna fire? Sweet. But no, alas. Well, I have a present for you. It is a flame turret. Oh, yes. Look at that. And it just takes a little, little Peter Petter from 
machine gun fire. Nothing, nothing they can't handle. So I'm going to go ahead and build some more of these tanks. Don't know why I built this, but we're going to throw it right here on the bridge. And uh-oh. That's such a depressing sound. It's like this drawn-out decline of tone. It's like, the, it's like an opposite of Transformer. And that makes me sad, because Transformers are awesome. As a matter of fact, they should put Transformers in a Red Alert series, in a Red Alert game. Like, like maybe, maybe a little mech that walks around and then lifts up and turns into a jet, or um, let's see here, maybe a giant floating head that looks completely obnoxiously retarded, but you know the developers wanted to squeeze into the game anyhow. Oh, but <laughs> they'll never do that. I mean, really, why, 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 why would they do that? So let's uh, let's just go ahead and defend here. As you see, the flame tower is doing its job quite effectively, might I say. As I want to get some scouting information. Let's see. spy plane. Do 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 do. That was a worthless use of a spy plane. Oh. What? What is what is this? What? Excuse me. You're supposed to go to the turret on your left. What, what, what is this? What is going on here? Jeez! What is with this crazy Huck-style micro from the AI? Do you believe this guy is the... I swear. Million APM right here. Okay. You know what? I'm tired of this. I'm tired of it, I say. But wait! There's more! Oh, that, that poor technician. Wait, wait. No, that's, that's an APC. That's not good. That's not good. No! What are, you, what are you doing, tanks? You're supposed to chase the APC. <laughs> ah, go! Squish the little bugs! Kill them, my minions! The name of Cthulhu! Or something, I don't know. Hey, what are you guys doing here? Uh oh. I don't trust that bridge. Ah! No! So the bridge does break after all. I see. You don't want to break for them, but no, no, it's fine if you just go ahead and, you know, break them. That's fine. That's cool. Let's see how it is. Let's see how... Where are you going? I told you to attack that. Oh, my God. Ugh. Oh, how did I ever beat this as a kid? There's, there's so much going on. There's there's tanks, and there's, there's APCs. And, oh. All right. We're, we're gonna be okay. I need to build another factory. That's what I need to do. And we need to remove this encampment. Encampment. That's kind of a weird word to say. I don't know why. But we also need to free up this ore field. I think that's gonna be our next objective. We need to secure the income. The spice must flow. I definitely found my copy of Emperor Battle for Dune, which I realize is not like Dune 2 or Dune 2000 or anything like that, but it's still a pretty fun game, and in my opinion, it's actually kind of the predecessor to the Command & Conquer General's engine. I believe it's called Sage? I, I, I haven't it up. I forgot about it, honestly. But I'm I'm 90% sure that they did a lot of uh, technological experimentation in uh, Emperor. I, that might have also been their last game, like their last official game. I don't know. I'll have to. I'll have to look. These things that I'm saying, I'm just kind of spurting it based on my own personal memory. Not like I have a little, you know, Wikipedia here on my keyboard. If only there was some resource that I could use to access the information on the internet. I mean, I, th I think we'd all be a lot better for it. So, do we have our tanks now? Yes, we do. Got one, two, five, six. So this area is secure. I'm feeling, uh, I'm feeling it, man. I think we're, I think we're gonna beat it. Okay, so we've had two unsuccessful spy plane incursions. Let's send number three. What? What is this? What about what are you gonna at least gonna? Okay, so you scout it out right here. All right. So there's a bridge leading. If I recall, our objective is up there, but I don't remember for sure. Either way, we do need to take out this. Hopefully, so we're going to do that. Alright. Here we go, folks. This is going to be it. And I hope you're still mining. Alright. 
Unit ready. Yes, sir. Run! Run, tanks! Affirmative. 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 Ooh. Yeah! You kill those three yes, infantry. Random thing, micro was not too often used back in the day, but there was one thing you could do was press X and it split up your vehicles, and it made it. You see how the bullet, the um, the shells from the tanks, they aren't like insta cast or insta hit. They are. Uh, they have some travel time. So what you could do is by spamming X like this, you could actually dodge a certain percentage of the shells from incoming fire. This was particularly useful as the allies, as their tanks aren't quite as strong as the Soviets were. I mean, obviously, the most basic Soviet tank has two giant hulking guns. It is basically a reskinned medium tank from Tiberium Dawn, but, I mean... Yeah, you know, it's, both of them are such amazing games that we can overlook these trivial uh, issues. Okay, so that's gone. Let's let's make our way up to the next next objective here. I'm a little worried about this. I want to make sure that we don't end up dying a horrible death while we uh, while we cross the bridge. Make sure there's no like engineers or drop C4 or anything like that. Tanya, I think in uh, I think one of the Allied missions. Uh, you have a Tanya that you have to blow up a bridge or get to blow up something. I don't know. <laughs> uh, spoiler alert, Tanya blows up something in the Allied campaign. So let's remember to get our tanks. Where? Are the, what was that? What was that explosion? I don't like explosions. Oh, thank God. I thought it was the bridge for a second. Uh, I was about to shit some pork chops. So let's get you. There are the tanks. Alright, so got you guys. So what we're going to do, rather than try to engage on the bridge, we are going to just send the tanks all over here. I'm also kind of wondering if it's possible for us to get down here as well, maybe like up here. We're going to find out in just a minute. Yeah, let's get another word truck. Alright. No! He he's mocking me! Ah. Okay. Uh, medium tanks! So these are the actual medium tanks. From Tether and Dawn. Except they're blue! It's it's like nostalgia within nostalgia. Nostalgia section! I hope we have to kill that. Wait, wait. Oh, that, what what? How did, how did you guys get over here? What? I don't understand. There's no shroud unless there's one of those shroud or wheelie things. I am so confused. Okay. You guys, you've got to show me this path you took. Thinking that it's like right here and there's one of those little shroud generators. But I can't be sure. Uh-oh. Yeah, kill that. Tell all of the tanks on the map to stop what they're doing and go kill that one thing. Great micromanagement skills right here, ladies and gentlemen. Top three control. And the AI is definitely filling out the rest of it, let me just tell you. So, we're going to hopefully get these guys going again. As they are... They're confused, but they're slowly making their way. We have one tank that is almost here. Look at that, we have... Now four tanks join join the calls. Five, six, oh my god! It's a tank party! Woo! Which is pretty much all coming out of Congress. Awesome. I mean, let's, let's face it, how many of us actually just play through at least one mission with the sole purpose of mining out the man, camping the spawns, and building like 8,000 freaking mammoth tanks? Come on. Alright, I, I want to see... I want to see a thumbs up on this video if you did that. I know ever I know at least one or at least all of you did it once. Just don't even try to hide it. I mean that's like a defining moment in nerd's life. Massing tanks and Kinetic Conquer. Yes, sir. So this mission's just about over. I'm sad we just started it. But you know what? We have more missions to go. And of course we'll get to see the uh, the outro cinematic as well. That's one thing I loved about the old Command and Conquers is as time went on, they kind of skimped a little bit. You know, they had some cinematics, 
but you know, the old the old CNCs they had like the, the outro that was just as cool as the intro. Even though sometimes a little bit shorter, it was still like a technological marvel to see that full motion video as super pixelated as it was. And I built a I built a harvester, didn't I? At some point, I did. All right. Well, we're just gonna go ahead and send you over to here. <gasps> It's the high yields. Look at that. High yields minerals before they were even in StarCraft 2. <sighs> yes, I realize it's not the first time ever, but... Yes! We have killed the sandbags. Mission accomplished. Oh, this is a cool one. Yeah, take out that radar silo. Or dome, or radar silo. Derp. So that's going to be it for this video, folks. Thank you for watching. I hope you had fun down Red Alert Lane. We are going to be continuing this series. Make sure you are subscribed so you are notified of new updates as my chair keeps on squeaking. I don't know if you guys are hearing in the background or not, but I need to get a new chair here in the next day or so. That was one of the casualties of moving to L.A. is I had to get rid of all my furniture. So we're going to go on to the next mission, and I will see you in that video.